Hello everyone, it is Gamer Catnip, and this video is the video of videos. Today has been the best find I have ever found in my history of yard sailing. And in this bucket is over... Oh no, I'm not even going to tell you the amount of what's going on. This I will reveal at the end of the video of the, my best video game finds I have ever found in the history of my yard sailing. Now let's start off with the cutest item I found. This was a dollar at my high school actually was doing a class yard sale thing, I don't know, some just a bunch of people doing yard sales, probably donated stuff. And I was able to get for a dollar this Rec 2 poster of Puss in Boots. Can you see it? All you can see is the eyeball, but it is uh, Puss in Boots in his face and his cute face. Yo, I saw this from across the cafeteria and I'm like, it's calling for me. He's giving me those eyes. I love Puss in Boots. He's my favorite. Orlando Bloom has a wonderful voice. And definitely, I wish they had a poster of him in the fourth movie when it was all really fat. That was my probably favorite one. But this was only a dollar. It's a little crinkly. I don't know where. I don't know if this was like a movie release. It says it was printed in Canada. It was printed in Canada. That's weird. But it's Shrek 2, and it's got DreamWorks everything. So, it's probably like a, I don't know, maybe like a McDonald's or something did like, have a poster if you buy a burger. I don't know. But I have that. So now, we go on to the next find, the bucket. I was able to find this smelly bucket for 50 cents. At the bottom it says a dollar, but I got it for 50 cents. And Jonathan and I are actually going to see Jurassic World today. And what's better than get a Jurassic World bucket? I actually don't have anything from the Jurassic World series. This is my first item and I was so excited. This is the first time I actually found today. It says, something has arrived as it hits me in the face. And this is of the second movie. I wish there was one for the first movie, but this is all they had. And I was so excited. She was like, oh yeah, that movie is like out right now and it's really popular. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna go see you later today. And here's my bucket. So now, let us talk about the best yard sale we went to today. So sometimes you find like a community yard sale. Well, not really a community. It's like an open lot. And there'll be multiple families just like they rented a lot to sell their stuff. And when I went to this yard sale, I just looked around and I saw this dude, this big burly dude. I see a lot of big burly dudes looking for video games lately, it's kind of weird. But he was looking at a box and he was picking up Game Boy games and I'm like, ooh. So he went and then he looks at something Xboxy, and I looked in the games and immediately I started picking out things out of the box. And then I, I saw a GameCube bag and he was like picking out of the bags and I'm like, oh no, and he knew, he knew I was looking. And he eventually took the box of, it was a GameCube with games in it. Personally, all the games are like Tony Hawk and sports, so I didn't really care if he took the GameCube band to thing. But what I got, I think was personally better. So the first handful of items I grabbed out of the box was the mix of things. The first thing is not really a video game, but I thought it was from my childhood. It is the Pokemon Pokedex, and I'm gonna probably assume the batteries are dead. Let's let's try to turn it on. <gasps> it still works! Oh my god! Look at this! The batteries haven't died out or anything. Oh my god. I don't know how to use this. I forgot. How do you use it? Wait, is this a calculator? Yo, yo what is a count? Yo, I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, it still works. Well, let's turn it off. That, I didn't even try to test it. But I used, like, I don't know. I think you see these at retro stores for like, like 20, 30 bucks. I forgot what it was. But, but this was like my childhood. I don't, I don't used to use it to make it say Pikachu or, I don't know. I don't know why it's not working now, I don't... I don't know. Well, I have it now. I don't know what it does. I forgot what it does. Oh well. But, this was cool. This was like, I don't know what this has to do with Game Boy. You don't even like, yeah, I'm gonna put a Game Boy... Pfft. No, he's just... Uh, apparently use it as a calculator, but... I got that one. The next item that I saw in the box was an N64 game. I already own it, but I'm like, I'm just gonna try to grab everything. And I got Mario Party 2 for N64. This is probably one of the best games in the series. Jonathan and I tried to record this game because he's never played Mario Party 2 and when we tried to record it, uh, the power it, it, the power just uh, stopped in my house. It, the, how do you say the power ran out? But we didn't save after like two hours and we're almost done and of course with Nintendo 64 it doesn't automatically save like the GameCube so we lost everything. I might still have the footage, I might have already deleted it, I don't know. I would have showed you the end of the footage and we're like, what? The power just went out in the whole house while we were trying to play this. 
maybe one day we'll try to record it again because he's never played it like that besides that one time I showed him and yeah he's pretty new to video games he doesn't he doesn't play a lot of things that I play but that would be really fun and now I have an extra copy in case something happens another thing I found which I probably should have looked through the box further for the case but I got Pokemon Pinball 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 and you know this is the rumble one for Game Boy Color so it had like the big Pikachu in the top and you play it and this one rumbled except this one doesn't I didn't I probably should have I didn't look through the case for this I, I just it didn't click to me so anything you can probably buy that online for like 50 cents or whatever but it looks okay there was no um what happens when the battery like uh it's like acid leaks out so it looks pretty fine besides the case missing I haven't tried anything obviously but now you got Duplo to Kiss. Like, this was like one of the best games. I love Pokemon Pinball and then the Ruby and Sapphire one for the Game Boy Advance. Those are so much fun. It's so simple. You're just playing pinball and trying to collect all the Pokemon. It's the best. Another game I got that I've never, I never really played much of the game. Uh, how do you, not the game. I never played much KB, KB game besides Crystal Shards for N64, but I can't get this out of the case. But I got Kirby's Dream Land 2 for Game Boy. This is the original Game Boy game, not even a Game Boy Color game. And I know Jonathan likes Kirby, so maybe he'll know what this game is, but I'm trying to- Oh, we gotta push it! I'm trying to like- Wait. It says push. It won't- Oh, god. Oh, oh. Uh -huh, I figured it out. So, let's get a better look at this. We have Kirby, and it's a little, like, gross on the back. But otherwise, it's- It seems pretty good, and hopefully it's playable. It seems fine, like- It just looks like they just kind of scuffed it around a case, and if anything, I gotta- case out of it. Now for the better items in this pack. So, let's go to the second best item. I also found Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for Game Boy. I'm gonna assume this is Game Boy Color, yeah. I don't- I think I might have this? I'm not sure. If this is the one- I might- I might have this. I don't know. But I'm gonna assume it's one of those things where it's like all of them and they're like- it's kind of like 2D and you're just walking around and you're with uh, that purple pink Yoshi. Well, you know, it's like the Mario game, and it's kind of dirty, but it's not that dirty, like it's okay. Okay, now for the better things, the better ones that you've been all waiting for. So I found one Pokemon game, and I was able to find Pokemon Crystal, my favorite game from the second generation. So I have this game, and I accidentally uh, bugged it, and glitched it, and kind of broke it, and now I can't play it. So there is a way that you can glitch to get multiple Master Balls. And I'm not going to say the method, but using this method, I used it uh, probably one too many times and I kind of broke my game and now my game will only go down left and right. It will not go up. It can only go down. Even if you're not touching it, it will, your character will just keep going down. All my Pokemon names are like letters now and numbers and all the information is messed up. And I'm really sad because Crystal was my favorite. I love, I love this one so much. It was absolutely my favorite. It's not even in the camera. I just realized all this time that all my games are not in the camera. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Have you seen? You saw them all, right? You're like, you, yeah, you, you saw them and you saw this one, right? Now I won't even know until I go back in the footage, but here are all the games in case my, my silly self has made them off screen. Hopefully you saw everything. I, I don't, I won't know until I'm editing things. But this is the best. Look, it's got a transparent, because this was, uh, this was gold and silver. And this was the only one that actually had like the cool legendary. Yeah, this was gold and silver, right? Yeah. But this was my absolute favorite. I loved Crystal. Now, with all these Game Boy games, you would say you need a, a Game Boy Color, and that is also what I found. So I've been actually trying to look for one for Jonathan, and I actually found the one in his favorite color. This is the one they wanted. The condition is okay. There's a little bit of crust on it, and the barcode is a little ripped off. On the screen, there's a little bit of dust, but I'm pretty sure if a little like you know cleaning of it, it should be fine. It should work. Luckily, the batteries were removed, so there's no acid leaking. That's a good sign. Sometimes you find them still in there and it's gross. It just kind of looks like they kind of left it in a really dusty place in their basement. So I'm hoping it still works for him because this is going to be his birthday gift, and he's been really trying to find one of these since he lost his green one. Ironically, I lost my green one in the car. He might have lost it in the move. But I'm so excited to get this for them. And all the games you just saw are with like, so this one, the Pokedex, Pinball, Crystal, blah, blah, blah. All those I got for $2. I got all that for $2. I also got this for 50 cents and the post for a dollar in case I forgot. But 
all these things. Usually you can get these online for like 10 to 20. I got them everything for $2. Another thing, so. I put these in my car and then I went back because I saw this. This is a Nintendo DS case. That's someone was next to me. So I saw a Nintendo DS case and I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. So I just like, maybe it's empty. So I happened to open it. Let's open it. And inside is a bunch of, what the hell is this? I don't know what, I don't know what this is, but there's a bunch, can you even see it? There's a bunch of DS games in here along with like, uh, this says Nintendo on it, but I have no idea what this is. It looks like something for the, might be something for a DS. Oh, this is probably a cover for your DS in case you're not going to play any Game Boy Advance games, I'm assuming. So in here, this is what smells. This is what really, I wish this smells like old, no, it's, it smells either like old, like, leather or new, like, leather. Ooh, God. Okay, so let's see what kind of games we got in here. I opened it earlier, but I didn't think it was worth it. But I'm like, she's probably, after I found out she's going to sell me those things for cheap, she's probably going to sell me more for cheap. So what do we got? We got some High School Musical. We got some, looks like Pac-Man. We got some Imagine Fashion Designer. I can be my own fashion designer now. We got Pirates of the Caribbean and Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. So probably a movie game. Ooh, this is gonna be a great one. We got Barbie Fashion Show and I for Style. That looks fabulous. We got American Girl Kit Mystery Challenge. Ooh, ooh. We got some Sunny with a Chance. That's all it says. We got another Imagine game. We got, I think there was a bunch of high school musicals in here. So there's some Guitar Hero, I'm just gonna go through them now. Some more Imagine, Deal or No Deal, Princess and the Frog, Professor Lane in a Diabolical Box. I have this game and I love it so much. Another Guitar Hero in High School Musical 3. Okay, so, I wasn't gonna buy it because of those crappy games. I probably can sell them for like a few dollars a piece, but what really made me buy this was if you open the bottom, this is the best part you guys, there is a DS light in the bottom. And it's pretty good condition. It's a little bit dirty, but like, it probably still turns on. Let's see, let's try to turn it on. It's probably dead. Oh, it works, you guys, it works. Does it come with the stylus? I didn't even check. Where's the stylus? Oh, the stylus is missing, but that's kind of lame. What do they do with the stylus? So, otherwise like, it still has like that soft feel. There wasn't any games inside of it. The stylus is a MIA, but you can probably just buy a fake one, not a fake one. You can just go buy a fake one, you can just make it yourself. I can probably just, you know, buy one from uh, the GameStop for like a few dollars. But this whole thing, two dollars. I was able to get a DS Lite with a bunch of crappy kid games for two dollars. So everything all together, the poster, the bucket, all the games, and this for five dollars and fifty cents. This has to be my best find. I'm pretty sure the DS Lite is probably like, I don't know, I think it's around $60 now. The Game Boy Color, $10.20. Pokedex, $10.20. The game, $10.20. So I, I definitely have over $100 worth of stuff that I got for about $4. I am so excited. This has to be the best. And I got this cool little case, which is probably like, I don't know, a few dollars. This is absolutely the best I have ever had. I'm so excited I went yard sealing today. And even to top it off, I'm going to be seeing Jurassic World after this. And I'm waiting for Jonathan to drive here. And then we're going to go off, have some lunch, and then go see it in the IMAX theater. I'm thinking I might vlog about the movie and talk about you guys. I kind of see, I kind of seeing it a little bit late. It's going to be my first time seeing it today. But it's going to be in IMAX. I'm so excited. This has to be one of the best days ever for yard sailing. And I'm so, just so excited. It's a great day. So. I, that, that was all I found, you know, besides the, like, the DS Lite and all this cool stuff. I'm so excited. I'm hoping everything works. But, yeah, that is all. And I r hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't get too jealous of my new DS Lite. I've never actually owned the DS Lite. I only had the DS Fat, and then I just went to the 3DS because I stopped playing handheld games for a while. It was pretty cool. Hopefully I can sell those DS games because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to play any of them. I don't know. Maybe I'll just play one for fun. I don't, I don't know. I would definitely recommend the Professor Layton's Abolical Box. That is a very good game. Loved it a lot. Still playing it. Haven't beaten it yet. But it's very good. So that is all I have to show you. 
please make sure to like the video below, leave comments about how you feel of all the stuff I bought, make sure to follow my Twitter for any video announcements I might make, and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see when I upload the next video. See you guys later!